Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada with an Avada short. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use the Flex Grow and Flex Shrink options in Avada columns. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. Flex Grow and Flex Shrink are two options found in the column element. They're a bit advanced, but are very handy options in certain situations, so it's good to know how they work. Essentially, Flex Grow tells your column whether or not it can take up additional space within its wrapping container. Let me explain this with a visual example that makes it easy to understand. Let's say you have three columns of one quarter width, as I have here. This means they take up 75% of the container. If nothing is set, then the columns will not grow and remain at one quarter each. But if I edit each column, and give them all a Flex Grow value of 1, the remaining 25% is distributed equally among all three columns, an extra 8.33% for each one. If instead I leave the value of 1 on the first and third column, but change the value in the middle column to 2, then the browser will now divide the remaining space by 4, 25% divided by 4 equals 6.5%, and apply 2 units to the second column, 13%, while the first and third column would only grow by 1 unit, 6.5%. Now in this specific situation, if I just go back to my three one quarter columns, instead of using Flex Grow, I could simply adjust the column sizes to one third. But let's look now at a couple of more real world examples of how you might use this. So let's say you have a situation where you have two columns with specific pixel widths, say 250 pixels for the logo column and 45 pixels for the menu toggle column. So here, what do you apply to the other column? Setting a flex grow value of 1 to the menu column here would be the easiest solution. That allows it to grow as required on various screen sizes. Flex shrink on the other hand lets the browser decide which columns can shrink more than others. This option only works if the parent container's content wrap value is set to no wrap, as otherwise if set to wrap, which is the default, if the columns take up too much space, the last one will simply be pushed to a new row. An example of this might be if you have an image in one column, such as the logo here, and a menu in the other one. In this case, I want the menu to have as much space as possible, so I leave the default value on it so it can't shrink, and set the flex shrink value of the image column to 1, and then the image can shrink whenever the menu needs more space. For more information on flex grow and flex shrink, see the article linked under this video. Ok, that's it for this Avada short. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.